This lesson is about a piecewise function. So, what's a piecewise function? A function that combines pieces of different equations, and also each piece is for a different domain. As we know, domain is a set of x values. For example. F x equals negative x plus two if x less than zero. F of x equals three x minus three if x greater than zero. Therefore, when domain is a different, you will get a different function. V of t is the speed. Of a vehicle in miles per hour, t stands for the time in seconds. Find the speed of the vehicle at each indicated time. For t equals five, you have to plug in the first function. That is four times five equals twenty. That's for a. For b, v of fifteen equals fifteen. You still using the first equation that is four times fifteen. That's a sixty. For c, we looking for v of two forty five. For two forty five is a in this domain, therefore we got to use a negative six times a two forty five, then plus fifteen hundred equals. We got thirty. That's the speed when t equals two forty five seconds. Now let's talk about how to graph piecewise functions. First of all, know the difference between the symbols. When you have a greater than or less than, means not included. So we got to use the open circle. When you have a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, means included. So we got to use the closed circle. How to memorize this? We use a happy face and a angry face to memorize. When you have a greater than or less than, no equal sign means a open circle. If you want to sketch inequality function, you have to use a dotted line. We call this is a happy face. Dotted line means when you graph y greater than two x plus three, then you use a dotted line to sketch the linear function and shade the portion above the line. For piecewise function, this open circle that's referred to the boundary. When you use number line to show the inequality, then you use the open circle for number line when you have greater than or less than. When you have、uh, greater than or equal to less than equal to, you got to use the closed circle for. Linear, you know, quality function. You have to use a solid line. So we call this is an angry face. When we sketch the linear, you know, quality function, y greater than equal to two x plus three, you have to use a solid line to sketch this linear function, and then shade the portion above the line. But when you Sketch piecewise function. 
for greater than or equal to less than equal to, you have to use a closed circle for boundary. And、uh, for number line, if you have a、uh, greater than or equal to less than equal to, you have to use a closed circle. Next,、uh, understand what the boundary mean. We have four types of boundaries. X greater than a means、uh, all value to the right of a, which means、uh, you have to use.、Uh, A and A plus one or A plus two keep going when you set up the table. X greater than A and less than B means all value between A and B. When X less than B means all values to the left of B means when you set up table you use. B B minus one B minus two. Keep going. When X equals、uh, C, only plot a single point. Then remember, create a table for each piece. Your table must include the boundaries if the boundary is in the domain. Normally, for a linear function, plot two points because two points determine a straight line. For a curve, plot at least three points. Last step: determine if the boundaries are open or closed circle, and then you graph. Now let's、uh, graph、uh, some piecewise、uh, functions. For number seven, f of x equals absolute value of x when x is between negative five and、uh, negative three. We know for absolute value function, that's the graph like this. Now check the domain is between.、Uh, Negative five and a negative three. So find the negative five, negative three from the graph. You could see this is negative three. Here is negative five. Then will be between negative three and negative five. Since x is、uh, greater than or equal to, that means a closed circle here. And less than or equal to negative three, this is an open circle. So only this part for the first piece of absolute value of x. Now we can make a table. This is a part of a linear function. We can use、uh, these two boundaries. That's a negative five. Negative three. That's your x. Then absolute value of、uh, x. That is a five and a three. On the graph, I will find a negative five and a five. That's a closed circle. Then find the negative three, three. This is an open circle. Then connect these two. Now let's go to second piece. X equals negative three. Y is two. This will be the single point. Negative three two is here. Close circle. Now go to the third piece. F of x equals square root of four x plus three. X greater than negative three. The meaning for x greater than negative three means you got to use a number greater than negative three. That will be negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Keep going. When you sketch a curve, normally three points. You using three points. 
to decide a curve. If it's a linear function, a straight line, normally two points, uh, that's enough. Because two points uh, determine a straight line. Therefore, we know for square root x plus 3, curve like this. I just need uh, three points. Negative 3, you have to use uh, negative 3 because this is a boundary. So we will make a table like this. I have negative 3. This is x. This is a square root of x plus 3. If you plug in negative 3 over here, that will be 0. If you plug in negative 2, you can get the 1. Then if you plug in 1, you can get the 2. That's enough. Look at the boundary points. Negative 3, 0. That is an open circle because from here. Therefore, I will plot these points. Negative 3, 0. Negative 2 is 1. And uh, 1 is 2. Then I connect uh, like this. Now we finish uh, graphing this uh, piecewise function. Let's uh, figure out the domain. Domain, we have very left uh, point that is a uh, negative 5. We don't have very right point, that's uh, infinity. For the range, we got the very bottom points, uh, that is a uh, zero. We couldn't find the very top points, that's uh, infinity. Because for this arrow keep going forever. Now let's go to number eight. This piecewise function is about linear function. Remember, for linear function, we only need uh, two points to sketch a graph. If you are given boundaries, two boundaries, using these two boundaries, for first the piece, f of x equals 2x plus 5, x is between negative 3 and a negative 1. This is x, here is 2x plus 5. We got the two boundaries here, so you have to use your negative 3 and a negative 1. Plug in. 2 times negative 3 plus 5, that's a negative 1. 2 times negative 1 plus 5, that is a 3. Then check a closed circle or open circle. You have equal sign. This is a closed circle. This is an open circle. Now you will find negative 3, negative 1 first. It's over here. That's a closed circle. Then find the negative 1, 3. It will be an open circle. Then I connect these two points. For second piece, this will be the single point. Negative 1, negative 3. It's a single point. For third piece, f of x equals negative 5x plus 1, x greater than negative 1, which means we need a number on the right side of negative 1. So we can use 0, 1, 2, 3, any points you like. Then we set up over here. This is x, here is negative 5x plus 1. You have to use uh, the given boundary point that is negative 1. We can use uh, 0. So we plug in negative 5 times negative 1 plus 1. 
That is a six. Negative five times zero plus one equals one. We got to find these、uh, two coordinates, then connect them. Check the boundary point. Then negative one, no equal sign. Therefore, this is a open circle. Let's plot、uh, these two points. Negative one six. Open circle. Then find zero one. This is dots, but it's keep going. Now let's work on the domain. From the graph, we got the very left point that is a negative three. We couldn't find the very right point, so go to infinity. We couldn't find the very bottom point. That's a from negative infinity. We do find the very top point. That's a six. It's a open parenthesis. That's the range. Now let's go to number ten. We got the x square minus one when x between negative two and a zero. Let's sketch x square minus one first. For quadratic function, the vertex is very important. Vertex form that is a x minus h square plus k. For this function, that is a zero negative one will be the vertex. So we find the zero negative one. The graph will be like this. I just need a negative two. Suppose this is a negative two. Then we need from negative two to this zero. This is an open circle. And this is a closed circle, so connect this part. That's the graph. For this part, we still need to make a table. We got the negative two, then try to do negative one, and a zero. This is x. This part is x squared minus one. So we got negative two squared minus one equals three. Negative one square minus one that is a zero. Zero square minus one equals negative one. Check is it an open circle or closed circle? This will be closed circle. This is an open circle. Now we plot these three points from negative two go to three. It's here, closed circle. Negative one, zero. It's here. Then zero negative one, is here. This is open circle. Then I connect this. Three points. Remember for a curve, at least、uh, three points. For linear function. Two points. That's enough. Then we plot a second one. That's a single points zero zero. Now let's go to two to the x power when x greater than zero. Try to make a table. So what kind of、uh, domain you can use? Since x greater than zero means we need to. Get the value greater than zero, so we got the one, two, three. Keep going. Now let's make a table. You got zero, one, two. This is the x. Here is the two to the x power. Then two to the zero power equals one. Two to the first power equals two. Two to the second power that equals four. For boundary point, this is an open circle. So we got the zero one. That's open circle. 
then get a one two. It's a here two four. It's a here. Then connect. That's the graph for two to the x power one x greater than zero. Now check the whole graph domain. We have very left point that's negative two. Then go to infinity. We got the very bottom point that's a zero. Open parentheses. Then no ending points for the top. So we got from 0 to infinity for range.